Well, that wasn't quite part of the plan that we'd get snow, but I guess that's okay. I'm just going to kind of walk around and uh, uh, that's where the truck was parked yesterday. It's up there now. And uh, I actually have a whimsical name for this lane right here. I call this Champs-Élysées, or uh, locally uh, it would be called champs Delizies or champs Elysees. Uh Whimsical, but a, a paradise for, for artisans, uh, actually, in the long run. Well, um, uh, so much of this hasn't changed. I didn't get that fence up right there out of pallets, but I do have machine parts on pallets there. These two huts uh, are still waiting. That bench, now that's that's new, that's waiting. I, I don't know if you can see it or remember from the other ones I had. There's two bases to it. There's uh, the planks for on top of it, and that'll go uh, down there about 10 feet, and it'll take, it'll carry the line shaft. I th might have shown you this already. It'll carry the line shaft across through these two buildings and over maybe even as far as the blacksmith shop. I might have shown this to you. I don't think so. Uh, not this year. And then right below it, that uh, potter's kiln, which we barely got started. But that that we should be able to do. All right, I'm going to walk on, I guess, toward the blacksmith shop. There's a little lane that goes down between that hut and the blacksmith shop, and I call that uh, Adam's Alley. <laughs> That's what we call it. Adam helps me a good bit. And this building, actually, we <coughs> I, I'm convinced we have saved it. We worked a good bit on it, uh, uh, bracing it, putting more posts in. It's, uh, you know, it's, it's waiting for more work when the season comes around. This is a water wheel that uh, I had started to build but didn't finish and then I had to dig it back out of the mud but it's waiting there. Uh, oh, these parts underneath this tarp there's a, a um, oh a, an engine uh, that can be used to power things made from a riding lawnmower it's called Murray. This is um, that axle with wheels is going to be the drive to a bandsaw, a huge bandsaw and there is one of the wheels that'll carry the saw blade itself. There's another, and and then it'll run over one of those tires. Uh, so <coughs> I'll show you the bandsaw and a, the saw blade itself that's going to go on that in just a little bit. Uh, now these are all round things, tanks uh, and rollers of one kind or another, which, you know, I, I think I'm going to make, in effect, a rolling mill, uh, a, a series of rollers for rolling sheet metal and stuff. And it's going to be, they're waiting here, it's going to be down there just below that fence. And right below that fence I have uh, sheet metal laying on the ground as a mulch to get the spot ready for my neighbor's little barn that he gave me, oh, I'd say five years ago, it's laying up there. Uh, and, and I tend to resurrect it. All right, now I'm going to go out there on the Camp Ranch Lane. In a way, it's too bad about this snow because you really can't, I mean, it's pretty, but you just can't see stuff as well. There, there's a, a pair of gates down there, which you've seen. There's a pair of gates waiting to be hung there. Uh, so, so there'll be two sets of gates there. I've stopped right here because this building, I recently moved about three feet, and I'm in the process of putting it back up. Uh, that is a bench for working on windmill uh, uh, sails, uh, the, 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 the top uh, of, of windmill sails. This, that bench is for working on water wheels. And this hut is going to be the first one that I actually make heatable. And, and I've, you, again, you just can't see it, but if you look at other videos that I've made, you'd see the progress as I do this. I moved it, and then right in the middle, there's kind of an L where there's going to be a masonry heater. I'm going to ex experiment with that. Uh, there'll be a bridge over to that next hut, which will be basically the shop for whoever would live in, in this hut here. And if it goes well, I may do the same sort of thing maybe with that hut. Now, they're, like all these huts, they're waiting at the rail level. I'm, I'm not going to go up any higher like I did here until I'm ready to put the braces on and the roof as well. <clears throat> in the meantime, uh, they're just going to uh, wait like that one over there as well. They're going to wait at that height. All right, I'm going to walk up this uh, Camp Ranch Lane. Now that's actually on the map. Uh, the Champs-Élysées is not, uh, but I'll walk up a little. 
I think I've decided on a name for that lane that goes out there toward the horse. I think I'm going to call that Fraser Mill Lane because Fraser Mill is, a, is something new since the last year. Uh, so I'm going to continue, I guess, to now walk up toward... The, I'm going to, we're going to go inside Thomas Hockling Hall, although I hesitate. We're inside Thomas Hockling Hall, and there's that Shakespearean troupe set. Uh, if anything, it's probably messier. It looks worse this year than last year. It's because I, it's, it's at the very back of the burner. I, I'll maybe get to this maybe in February. There's a few new things, though. Those are fire brick of a very light kind <coughs> that I took out of a... We, we basically decommissioned a, a kiln for slumping glass and saved the fire brick from it. The main reason I'm in here, since so little is different, is I wanted to show you these three saw blades, uh, these uh, blades. Those I was given, and uh, the one is cracked, the other two are probably usable, at least for my purposes. And they set me off on a, on a, a sort of a quest to be able to saw logs with wind. And that's what those two wheels, that band, those monstrous bandsaw wheels that I'm building, that's what they were about. Well, I will climb up on the stage and just pan around, around so you can see, but it, you've seen it before last year. All right, here I am uh, standing uh, right in the middle of the performance venue, and I have by no means given up completely on the idea that Thomas Hockling himself someday will be here performing for friends, family, community, I don't know. Uh, no, it's probably going to be especially hard to see because it's so bright outside. But let me go once again in order. There'll be a balcony up there that'll wrap around. Right in that corner it will be plumbing and, and electrician work. There is, is a ladder or not a ladder, stairs. Over that storage, probably for belts, V-belts and flat belts, that's going to be the carpentry shop. I think I maybe said about the organ. I'll probably have a second balcony above that as well. Uh, another set of stairs, the sharpener's shop for sharpening saws, but all kinds of things. A machine shop and wood turning uh, right through here. The center I'll mostly keep open. I hope, once I get these things out of here. Over here, leather working, although that's mostly going to be outside. And a window and door building right there. Uh, back in there, probably sewing, if I can find a way to keep it warm enough to do so. And uh, the window storage, eventually, that they're, I'm going to use them. I have about, I still have over 200 of those sashes, but I'm very sure I'll find a use for them, eventually. All right, well, this has been a little painful for me because there's been so little developments here, but some people get fascinated by all this, co these collection, this collection of machinery, old machinery that I have. Uh, it, it'll all clean up quite easily. If I have a day or two's work in here, I could have it clean. Building the balcony will really be fun. And then, and then uh, using the line shaft to, to connect to the machinery. All right, uh, we're, we're going on. Bye for, or bye from this venue.